For E-5, we're going to complete a projected revenue spreadsheet. So once again, we open up Excel. This time it's a file, save as E-5. projected revenue spreadsheet. First thing that you need to do is to type in the spreadsheet that is given to you on page 70 for figure E5-1. Once you have that typed in, press play and we'll format it. Okay, now that everything has been keyed in, we're going to start formatting our document. We're going to format column A to a width of 25. Select column A, format column width to 25. Click OK. Then we're going to format B through D to a column width of 10. So we go to format the column width here and we select 10. We're going to format cells A1 through D1 to bold. Center aligned. And also shade these with the gray. You can find that right there. We're going to change everything to an aerial 10 point. Turn the page to page 68. We're going to format cells A2, A9, a11, 18, 20, 24, 26, 30, and 32 to bold. So 2, and if you hold down the control key, you can select the other ones that we need. 9, 11, 18, 20, 24, 26, 30, and 32 all to bold. We're going to format cells B8, 17, B8, 17, 23, 29, C31, Sorry, B8, B8, 17, to display a bottom border, which is this box right here, bottom border. Format cells B3 through C32 to currency displaying two decimals and a dollar symbol. B3 to C32. decimal places. 
Now we're going to format column D to a percentage displaying two decimals. Column D percents and we want two decimals. We're going to go to C9 and we're going to enter a formula. And the formula that we want to do is add up all of the information from 3 through 8. So remember we hit an equal sign. We're going to type the word sum, parentheses, B3 through B8 and close the parentheses and hit enter. We're going to do the same thing for the video games. Equal sign sum B12 through B17. Hit enter. Again here. Equal sign, sum, parenthesis, B21 through B23, parenthesis, and finally here, sum, equal sign, sum, parenthesis, B27 through B29, close parenthesis, and hit enter. In the cell C32, we're going to sum the totals from C9, 18, 24, and 30. So in C32, we're going to hit sum equals sum And parentheses. This time we're going to write them as a list with commas. So we're going to say C9, comma, C18, comma, C24, comma, and C30. Hit enter. Now you're going to notice that the numbers are taking up too much space, so we want to do a double click here on C to make it a little bigger. Okay, number 15, enter a formula in cell D9 to compute the percent of total projected revenue for pinball machines. This is completed by dividing the total number of pinball machines by the total projected game res rev revenue. So and we are going to go to D9 right here and we're going to type in an equal sign. We're going to type C9 divided by, which is a slash mark, C32 and hit enter. Let's put parentheses around that. Hmm.
Oops. Were we supposed to put that in? Oh, we put this, I put this in the wrong box. That's why it's not. Let's cut that and paste it right here. Mistakes happen. All right. Let's make sure that is the formula there. Yes. Okay. Now, when we do an equal sign, C9 divided by C32. Yes. Very good. Okay. Right here, total games will be C18 divided by C32. Enter. Equal sign C24 divided by C32. Enter. Finally, equal sign C30 divided by C32. Enter. Then in the D32 cell, which is right here, we want to complete the sum of percent of total projected revenue column. And we should get a hundred percent. So we want to sum sum parenthesis D nine control ten. All these, close parenthesis, hit enter, and yes, we do have 100%. Now we're going to put in a title, typed in one, the first line. Let's go to insert another. On this line, we're going to also do another merge and center. Type in arcade. Games. Projected. Let's insert the next line one more time. Insert. Merge and center. Oh, let's undo that. We don't want to merge and center the whole thing. We only want these lines. Now we're going to type in for a month of January, comma, 2015. Okay, so obviously we don't want to leave those just like this. So we're going to change these to Arial 14. And let's go ahead and make them bold so they stand out nice and big. All right, now we just click save one more time and make sure that you share this document with Mrs. Brown on your classroom.google.com.